Uh, today we are going to um, test for uh, different types of uh, diagnostic tests uh, those tests which uh, you need to verify after you know your regression analysis in stata uh, just like uh, vif uh, hydrocodasticity for serial correlation errors uh, your your data should be free from all these problems your your regression results you have to prove in your research that uh, your model does not have all these type of biases so uh, for that purpose the data which is in front of us uh, it's a panel data and you can see it the country here all the countries in these are the years in income group in different variables so I'm not going to uh, into the details of these variables the purpose is just to uh, tell you how you uh, declare this data is a time series data right so because this data is already set as a panel data uh, but we need to uh, do it you know it's already here is already mentioned here so we have to first set this data is a time series data so uh, for that purpose uh, there is a command uh, which you have to uh, yeah this one generate trend is equal to underscore n right so with this uh, you are going to generate a trend of uh, time series with the number of years so this I have generated and you can see the trend uh, variable has come here and if you go to this data at the end you see the trend has started from 1 to all the way at the end of my observations so I've declared this trend is a time series and it is from 2001 up to at the end of 2019 right so I uh, generated this a uh, trend as uh, uh, years so now I have to set this as a time series set TS set trend right so I have to set this uh, trend as a time series first I generated a trend variable and now I have to set it as a time series right so yes I've set all these into from 1 to 1064 and now I am ready for uh, my post estimation uh, test right so first I have to uh, first I have to do the regression of uh, my model and after that I have to go for the post estimation results so yeah this is my regression uh, first you have to write reg reg and then your uh, dependent variable and then all the independent variables i'm not going to explain about these independent variables i've got some uh, interaction terms as well in my a model like you you can see these hash in all these are interaction terms and uh, it is the simple regression simple OLS regression no fixed effect or any so this is my uh, simple linear regression of uh, my variables you can see uh, that the probability of statistics is uh, zero zero the model is valid and there are uh, some of the uh, some of my variables are significant that uh, in some of them are not right so now let's go to the post estimation test so uh, guys you have got uh, different options uh, you can either type in write the test or you can go to the drop down menu so I'll show you the drop down menu and first you have to go to the statistics in the linear models and then uh, regression diagnostics specification tests and in specific specification test you have got many tests here uh, first you want to check for heteroscedasticity right so this is the heteroscedasticity test and command for this is hat 
test h-e-t-d-e-s-t you can directly type h-e-t-d-e-s-t or you can just drop down from here you do it okay the results show that you see the probability is greater than chi-square is 0 0.72 this is not significant right so if this is not significant that means that uh, there is no problem of any hydroscedasticity if this is a uh, significant then uh, we have to reject the null hypothesis but this is not significant so we are not going to reject this null hypothesis and the null, null hypothesis says that there is a constant variance that means that uh, the data is homoscedasticity it's not hydrocadasticity so there is no problem so for a simple uh, you have to look for this probability it should be greater than 0 0.05 this probability is greater than 0 0.05 then your data is okay as for as uh, this Bruce pagan test of hydrocadasticity so now go to uh, the next test of post estimation in the specification test and uh, you can see here uh, there are other tests like uh, Ramsey regression specification error test for um, omitted variables so if you have some omitted variables uh, in your uh, in your model uh, then you can check this one and here also you see the null hypothesis th says that model has no omitted variables and this is not significant so if this is not significant that means you have to accept the null hypothesis so uh, our, our our model also has no omitted variables so this test is also valid as far as our model is concerned uh, now let's go to the other specification test we have here other some uh, you know cadasticity test of uh, some other as well as uh, variance inflation factors as well VIF right so this is an important test so you should always do this test as well so the VIF score indicates here you can see my all VIF values are less than three the highest is uh, LG GDPC that is 2.71 and uh, it, these are also ideal because uh, I have done uh, you know logarithmic and um, in and as well as mean centering so because I've got a lot of uh, interaction terms so because of these interaction terms it was uh, likely that I would have the problem of VIF so if you have the problem of variance inflation factor uh, that this problem then you must do uh, logarithmic or uh, mean centering and both you can do both as well so I've also done that that's why uh, my data is okay so now let's go to the other estimation test in that test is uh, yeah this one uh, Bruch Godfrey test so this test is basically for uh, serial correlation right so uh, let's uh, and you can check here for leg one right so a leg one you can test problem of any autocorrelation you can see the leg is one chi square and the degrees of freedom is one and probability is 0.4337 so it's greater than 0 0.05 and null hypothesis says that no serial correlation so if this probability is greater than 0 0.05 you have to accept the null hypothesis and in our data uh, there is no serial correlation so you can uh, do some other tests as well uh, but I think these are the most important tests which you should do uh, Durban Watson test time series and you know all, all all these other statistics I think they don't matter much but still if you want to do this Durban Watson test so this is a Durban Watson test 
and uh, for for if you want to check whether your Devon Watson test is um, good or no what you can do is uh, you, you have to go to the table and check the validity of uh, these uh, you know 0.97 is my result so uh, it depends upon your number of observations in the um, the maximum is two the maximum is two and minimum is zero so it, if it's closer to zero then your model has the problem and uh, but it depends upon the number of observations as well so for this test you have to refer to uh, some other plots so uh, guys that's all mm, i think these were all the tests which we uh, conducted these are post estimation tests like uh, these tests but if you want to just plot some uh, graph so you can you can check uh, from that graph as well uh, but first for that you have to predict the u hat you know there is in in your equation line there is an error term u and you have to uh, predict u h a t hat so uh, we have got a u hat variable here and now if you want to uh, check you can do uh you you can plot you can plot a time series here uh and uh, by plotting that time series you can also uh you can also check that whether there is a problem of uh, serial correlation uh in your data or not so uh, the command is time series line u hat so here you can see that our uh, data looks perfectly fine in the uh, from the middle half is towards uh, upside and half is towards downside so there is no problem and if you want to uh, do a regression test and that has to be regress u hat your dependent variable and the independent variable has to be l dot u hat and in this you can see here that uh, your uh, f statistics is not significant it should be not significant and the r value should be the minimum it's 0 0.0009 so the r square should be zero and your f statistics should be uh, non-significant to prove that there is no problem of autocorrelation if there is autocorrelation in your data then uh, this is going to happen like your r square is going to be high and your uh, this uh, statistics is going to be um, this significant and here so this basically test is doing a regression with your uh, you know with a leg with a one leg so with the one leg uh, and it's doing a regression of previous data with the one leg so it should not be significant the purposes so this was uh, another test for uh, checking the serious correlation first you have to uh, predict the u hat right you have to generate a variable of u hat here and then you have to do the regression u hat with l dot u hat with its lag right so with this regression also you can check there is a serial correlation or no that uh, three types of uh, test for autocorrelation like uh, this through this regression of u hat and through uh, this Durban Watson test in B Gottfried test so with all these tests it proves that there is no auto correlation errors in our data thank you very much uh, guys and if uh, 